everybody welcome back to my minecraft comes alive series and i am miss tater cakes today i've got a surprise for you i've been working really hard on something and if you follow me on twitter you may have already known what it is but before i show you i wanted to show you some of the problems or what i went through to build this um and i hear many in there meowing um i don't record my builds because i just work better because i don't talk while i'm building i'm just kind of concentrating so one of the things I used heavily this time, and I really loved it, is this carpenter block. You see I have it highlighted here in my action bar. It looks like this. It is uh, sort of see-through. Worked great by itself. You want to kind of like a, a lattice look or something. But one of the great things about it is you can click it with almost any block, especially any, any vanilla block, and it will become that block. You're like, well, why not use that block? Well... Um, let me show you. One of the one other kind of block. I didn't use this one in the build today, but I've used it previously. And I thought let me show that to you quickly. Um, this here, the carpenter slope. It works the same as the the square one, but only you get this cool slope here. Uh, like on the bakery, I use the slope as an awning, and you can't see it here, but the underside of it actually. I didn't make the whole thing like that because I didn't want the whole thing to look like a um, glowstone. So basically, the outside of it. Oh, really? No. Um, the outside of the block looks like. Oh, I can't do it with this. Um, let me try something different. Hold on a minute. Um, let's say I put it on the house. And. Not that way. And I want it to be like this. Like it's an awning to stand under. The outside of it all looks, say, like this wood right here. But I want some light. I went underneath the bottom and did that. And ta-da! Just the bottom only. Hi, Minnie. I see you looking at me. I'll come in and see you in a minute. Um, looks like, you know, you've got a light under there. It's really cool. I used to... Uh, this primarily in my build. I may have wanted, say, the floor above to look like this. And say, just wanted, let's say I wanted the ceiling to look like this block. And the floor above, I wanted to look like this. Without having to do double blocks, you can do that. And you can still place items on top of it. Uh, like, you know, unlike some things where you can't. If you do that, like the carpet, you used to couldn't do that. I don't know if you can now. But see, I can still stick things on top. I do that a lot for a desk and things that I make. The problem I ran into was I used so many of them that I lagged. Oh, it was so horrible. And it didn't kick in until I was almost finished, the lag. So, if you see when it breaks up, you get whole blocks. I think it had the problem because one block basically had two or three other blocks mixed with it to do what I wanted it to do. So, I had to go back and remove all the outside walls and make them just a regular block. And any interior wall that I could do that didn't ruin all the aesthetics that I had created. So that's just a little tip on why it took me two days to build an apartment building. <laughs> I was uh, basically rebuilding it over and over again. We'll go deal with many a little bit, but I'm so excited to show this to you. Let me just move some of this stuff up out of the way here. Um, I want to get. I have normal stuff I keep in my bar, and it drives me nutty if I don't have it set up. So let me put things back down. There we go. My bribes. I know I have a baby to grow up, but I'll explain that in a little bit, what we're going to do there. I think that's okay. And I need to put my diamond stuff in my dishwasher so that I can fix it. There we go. Okay. Is that Steve? Steve! Is that you, Steve? No, that's Amelia. I, got, I can't tell who they are with all the armor on. They're just not a few. There's Steve. He's got the hair, hair swag over his eye. I love all my children, don't get me wrong, but Steve, Steve, hey Steve, how you doing honey? Let's give, let's give Steve a little gift here. There we go, yes, it's all yours, he's just so freaking cute. I just, he's just so cute. Let me go give, whoa, let me, whoa, he's hitting me. Why is he hitting me? No, what the hell? Why is he attacking me? Oh. No, this, mm-mm. And he spawned me where I wouldn't want to be. Cutscene, hold on. 
Okay, guys. What I had to do was basically go in the settings, and hopefully it worked. Uh, it's a thing you uh, downloaded with most creatures. I've turned off the iron golems. Uh, they won't spawn anymore, hopefully. And I had to kill all the ones that were around here because every time I got near one, they killed me. I think it may... Dang it. We're in the surprise. And I showed you the building before I was ready. Anyway, it don't matter. Uh, I, I like them here for protection, but there were so many, I thought maybe that was causing my lag over here. But, um... Because I, I killed them, I guess maybe they remembered and they all hated me. I don't know if the ones that weren't in the area will do it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I had to do. Yeah, it was oh, so frustrating. But anyway, this is the apartment I built. You can see it's got... Um, there's some iron I got to pick up. Hold on. Did I get it? Yeah. Um, this is the apartment building. It just threw me all off now. I oh, was so happy to show you my building. And I got attacked by the golem. And, um, each of the, I have two bedroom and one bedroom apartments in here. It's a three story for now, uh, because of the lag issues, I stopped there. Uh, instead of going, I didn't really need to go any higher, I'll build another building if we need to of different kind. Um, because there are two, two bedroom on each floor and one one bedroom. So it's three apartments per floor, so we got nine apartments here. And they each have their own deck or balcony. I built a little too close to the road because I wanted this just step right off the sidewalk and right into the building. And but I didn't take into account the the balcony I wanted to do. So it's okay. We won't worry about that. First floor gets immediate street access, <laughs> uh, but they can't get out the door because I don't want them going out on the balcony because on the upper floors they'll fall off. Because I wanted to use glass because I thought that was a cool railing the way this looks. So I put in one of the carpenter doors and made it clear. So they can't open those. But they can open these. This is Tater Town Lisbud Apartments. And let's go have a tour. Let me clean out a spot here. I don't want to walk around with... There we go. Here we go. Uh, so I need to put a pressure plate. Do I have any with me? No. Alright. This is our first floor. Nobody's moved in yet, by the way. What I'm going to do is, by the next video, I will have let my children grow up. And I want to move them into these apartments. I won't have them get married or anything, so you don't miss out on that. But this way, they'll be secure in an apartment. The manager is on duty, the building manager. He may be away from the desk tending something. You know, that's what they're supposed to do. But I needed something for the space where the stairs are going. So I thought a lobby area on each floor with a main desk down here is pretty cool. Uh, you've probably never seen anybody manning it. I loved using the uh, stained glass here. It just gave it a little different look. But think, when you look into my pool over there, or my little fishing pond, you can't see any water. <laughs> kind of weird. Let's check out the apartments. Uh, this is first floor, so this is apartment 100. Let's have a look and see what we have here. This one bedroom apartment comes fully furnished. I mean, sorry, this two bedroom apartment comes fully furnished. You have your balcony. You have your TV and sitting area. Uh, it's still got a little bit of lag spikes because if you'll notice, um, you'll see in a minute, the floors, I got carpet here. And I wanted the, sunny, the kitchen to be bright and sunny, so we have these lovely tiles here to brighten it up. You got your refrigerator, uh, refrigerator, you got your stove and range, you have one piece unit. You have your dishwasher. So it's fully furnished with the best of everything. Uh, and down the hallway, you have your, uh, this is the second bedroom for children or guests. And if you'll notice, the walls are a different color on the inside than they are out here. And I just wanted to make it different. So, and the outside walls, you can see the stone where originally you could see the interior wall, not the stone. But I changed all that out because I couldn't even move. It was awful. And this is the master bedroom you have here. This is on the end wall. It has two walls in stone, which is a really good architectural feature. People pay a lot for that in the home, uh, especially in, you know, New York and the flats. Some people in the UK call them or lofts or something like that. They like that detail there. So we're calling it that. We're going with that. And you have uh, your, your double bed in here. Two chests. Again, fully furnished if you want your privacy. 
uh, or if you do, if you want all the light, you can raise your blinds up. But if you want your privacy, because you know people wandering around, especially on the first floor, you can just close off the blinds and get full privacy. But for now, we leave them open because this unit is currently unoccupied. And then this apartment also has a bathroom, complete with a washer and dryer that I can't get in the door for. There we go. Again, on the ground floor, you have your privacy with these wonderful deluxe blinds. You have uh, a, a luxury soaking tub. No shower in these units because we feel the tub is much nicer. And when you have your sink, medicine cabinet, and a missing wall. See, here is a good example of, I was going to use sand as a texture for the wall, uh, for the hallway, and I changed to the wood. But to fix that, I need to put in one of these. And I don't have... I cleaned up my inventory from when I was working. Let's see. Um, thought I fixed all the boo-boos. But I guess it was so laggy. I hit one thing trying to clean out that outside wall to put the regular block in. It just kept knocking other things out. It had like double clicking going on. And I wasn't even double clicking. It was horrible. And there's one spot on the ceiling I still can't fix. Um, and that's super frustrating. Let's see. Where is it? I passed it. The colored clay... Bake clay. Come here, bake clay. Where'd you go? Hello? Hello, baked clay? There we go. There's our baked clay. I was using this blue. Yeah. So let's put this in here. And I want to go to the outside wall. And we're going to put this first. Oh, I guess I should have done that second. Anyway, I did double on that so it would look even. And then on inside, I do that. Ta-da! All fixed. You see how that is so cool for if you like building and being creative? That's fabulous for that because you can do so much on a small build. <laughs> I guess this apartment was just too much for it. But for like a little house or something, you wouldn't run any tissues. Because I still have a whole bunch here. But that is what all the apartments that are two bedrooms look like. Um, again, the kitchen fully stocked with cookies already you're good to go of course the cabinets are empty they'll have to you'll have to bring your own groceries but those are welcome cookies and if you go down here you have the apartment that's opposite that one and of course everything in here is opposite to what the other one was you get your kitchen over there and then you have your balcony coming out to the back this way but everything else is just exactly the same the uh, even numbers are on this side of the hall odd numbers over here we only have one bedroom one apartment on this other side it'll only just be the one but uh, it is a one bedroom unit so if you you don't need extra Armando what are you doing excuse me Armando I'm trying to do a house tour are you, are you thinking of renting this one you have an apartment over there I mean what, what are you doing here? Well, you have seen me around before, Armando. <sighs> you and I have a history. You turned me down. I found you a good wife. I set you up with a nice bakery. Why do you continue to be this way? Let's see if I can, you know, make him like me better. Yes, it is amazing. Maybe you'd like, um, do I have any wheat? No. Maybe you'd rather have a cake or something, but no, oh, cakes make you have kids. And we're going to get you some more babies, don't worry. But So you're checking out this apartment here? You, you liking it? It's the one bedroom. Are you planning on moving out? You have kids. You, you can't do a one bedroom. We have some nice two bedrooms over there. Would you like me to show you the two bedroom? No? Okay, I'm going to finish showing everybody else this one. So don't mind me. Right, okay. Now, the, the one bedroom has a few more windows on the end, so you can see in here in the hallway. Uh, you have, again, your master bedroom. No windows in here because it's an interior room, but that gives you complete privacy. And if you are a night owl and uh, like to sleep during the day, you have plenty of darkness because there's no windows. Um, and you have a large luxury bathroom complete with a washer and dryer as the other ones. And you can always set up a... a something else in here if you needed to like since there's not a lot of room in there if you wanted to put uh, a TV on the wall with your treadmill in here you can make this your multi-purpose spa room 
There you go. Again, deluxe blind so you can block out the neighbors. Uh, every four is exactly the same as far as the apartments that he went home there. As far as the apartments go, uh, the seating in here is a little different to make room for the dining area. But I feel it's very adequate for a one bedroom unit, especially for a single person or a couple that don't have kids, an older couple. You know, it works great for that. So, or you could, if you were wanted to, you could have a roommate in here and, and get separate beds and just share the one bedroom together. So you could do that. It's a nice size apartment. And it's actually upgraded over the village houses, by the way. I actually should sleep somewhere. I'll sleep here. Make it daytime so we don't have to deal with all the monsters out there. So let's go ahead and just take a, a quick nappy in here. I need to reset my spot back at my house, though. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got to keep uh, the monsters from banging on the doors and breaking down doors. I need to eat. There we go. Oh, crap. They keep spawning. I don't know how to turn them off. Is he going to attack me? Uh, I can't be having that. I can't leave my house. What do I do? Guys, what do I do? He's staring at me. Uh, is he going to kill me? He's giving her flowers. The only way to know is to go out, but I ain't prepared for it yet. I'll do it later, just in case somebody's in here. Okay. Let's go upstairs and give you a quick tour of the upstairs. Basically, it's, it's the same, but uh, the stairs, you come up here instead of there being an office. There's just a little lounge area, a little place you just wanted to come sit outside and enjoy the wonderful view through the glass. So it's a stormy day, and you're tired of sitting in the apartment, and it's too cold to sit on the balcony. You come in here and enjoy the view. A nice little area for everybody to hang out. I guess you could have like a, a party up in here. A party up in here? No, not going to do it. Not going to do it. Again, all the apartments are the same, just to show you here. But they're very nice. I'm thinking about settling. See, this is the issue I have in the ceiling. I don't know what the issue is because you don't have the wood floor on top is the main color of that uh, craft block, uh, carpenter block, but it won't let me, it's saying it's a wood slab, but it's not a wood slab, but that's what happens. I, I, I don't know what to do, so I'm just ignoring it, so we don't see that, okay? Architectural feature, ignore it. <laughs> um, let me move this out of the way. So, and again, everything's the same. Just get a little bit higher up, and you um, up here, especially on the top floor. Let me go up to the top floor. The balcony view is marvelous up at the top. Let's go all the way up to the top floor. And I hope they don't fall down the stairs. I tried to make it as safe as possible without closing it in, because it just ruined the effect of having you open this. Let's say you're in 300. And you wanted, well, technically they can't come out here because they can't open these doors, which is for their own safety. But this is a great view. Look at that. See the whole town from up here. Oh, just looking in the bakery makes me want cake. Oh, cake. All right, back in here. Whoop. Over shut the door. There we go. See, it's the, it's the, the top floor is the laggiest floor. I don't want to tear out the walls and the ceiling to redo them regular because with a I don't want the same color all over. I like to have it a little different, and I like to having the ceilings different than the floor without having to use double blocks. And but I'll do it if I need to. If it causes too much of a problem, but for now I think we're okay with it. I think we can manage uh, as long as I stay off the top floor a lot. So. So I'll start with the bottom floor, putting everybody in. All right, now it's time to go see if I get attacked. If I do, I don't know what to do. I can't play in peaceful all the time. I may have to record in peaceful. I don't know. 
I just don't know why they want to attack me. Does he remember? Um. Uh, if you hear background noise, I apologize. I'm recording this on Saturday. And my sons are home and they have friends. And I've asked them to be quiet that I'm recording, but they won't listen. So I'm sorry if you hear it. There's not a lot I can do. It's, no, 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 no. Why? 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 I don't understand. Eh. Can you get me in here? I don't know why they done that. I'm going to have to kill him. He's not attacking anybody else. It's just me. Oh, is he perceiving me as a threat? What did I do? It says he's supposed to be friendly. But he's attacking me. I guess maybe because I attacked one of them and now he just won't forget. Don't attack me. How can I be friends with him? He wants a gift? Can I give you a gift? No. Ooh. No, don't attack me. I don't. I don't. Is it the sword? No, flowers. I have flowers. You want flowers? Can I give you flowers? Are you going to attack me? Do I go back out? Dare I go back out? Worst thing that happens is I die and have to... Is he going to come after me? I have flowers for you. We're friends, right? We're friends? Hello? Hello? It was because I had the sword out. He was perceiving me as a threat. I, uh, <gasps> no, my God! Run, 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 run. He still hit me. I don't understand. What am I doing? I'm just standing here. Do I stand too close to me? Don't like me? Oh, he is coming for me. No. No. I guess I just stays away from him. As long as he's not attacking the villagers or my kids. But he's attacking me. I don't get it. I'm going to have to kill him. Okay, guys. If you know why he's doing that. I mean, new one's spawning. They shouldn't know that I've killed another one. Um... If you know something, I don't know, and I've got to do something about this cluster mess here. Um, I just keep, I'm going to have to sign them new places, make them all nights and move them away. Um, but yeah, if you know why they keep attacking me, or how I can fix it, let me know. Because I kind of like having a few around as guards. I mean, geez. Let me know what you think about the new apartment building. And hopefully by the time the next time I record, you will be able to see some of our people moved in. And the kids moved in there. And then we can let my baby grow up and start having some new little babies around the house. Because we'll have room. And the next step, I suppose, besides keeping up with the with the uh, people down here. The, now, I did learn that while my children stay little, the babies that the villagers have don't. They grow up. Um, I did go through and make sure that there was nobody homeless uh, sitting around. So, is he going to attack me? He's been hit by something. Um, are you going to attack me? Okay. I just don't get too close to them, I guess. Oh, is he coming after me? No, he just likes his carrots. How about this guy over here? That's the same guy that was over at the apartment, is it? No, it's a different guy. He's at the bakery. Is he going to attack me? Oh, God, yes! What? No. Is he still after me? 
Oh yeah. I don't think so. I'm gonna go home. I don't know why he's attacking me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked it. Thumbs up, you know. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please subscribe so you know when I put up new videos. And you can watch those if you like. Also, uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I do comment there. I try to answer all questions and comment when you comment on my videos. Uh, let me know what you think about all this. And if you have a way to fix my problem here with the big guys. But I will talk to you guys later. And again, sorry it's up a little bit late today. But I did have good reasons. I hope you liked it. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.